so this is the plan hey we're going to finish out the Pentacone quest and i'm very excited i was thinking about it all day yesterday after stream i was thinking about it for like hours i was like i have to beat this game oh look who it is look who it is my favorite piece of shit on the bottom of my shoe <sighs> we meet again my dear hi it looks like you have not taken my warnings to heart a oh, pity are you so Hi, enchanted James. by that James, my girl? TikTok life got banned for a week. So if you're wondering why I'm not on TikTok, that's why. You're just so blind. Blind. Careful. I'm more than certain now that this friend of yours is dangerous. Dangerous to look at. An offense oh, to the oh, eyes, ears, this brave and little girl appears nose. to be protecting you. I wonder why. Are you two that close? Damn. You talk too much. <laughs> and yeah. Oh, I love your attitude, my dear. I have to admit you're different from your friend here. Your senses are much sharper. Even so, you are lagging far behind the main party. Have you not noticed yet what the family is hiding? The secret behind this sweet dream? Why does he know it though? That's why I'm confused. It is for you. The trailblazer who saved the ice world? I wonder how much others might have embellished Sempo's story when recounting the happenings on Yorello 6. It's surprising what tales they spin. Oh well, it was my problem for trusting him. I am clear really, problem. Really I like the way he talks. Sorry, my bracelet fell off. Oh, cutscene. Oh no. Oh wow. Okay. Ooh. Um, excuse me. Ew. Why don't you rest for a little while? Inside the real dreamscape. <laughs> oh. Excuse me, ma'am. My friends will be waiting for me, and my mom will get very upset with me if I'm not home by a certain time, so you better put me back. This... What is this place? I'm back at the hotel? No. This feeling. The surroundings look a little like I just entered a dream. Help! I've been kidnapped! <laughs> Save me! <gasps> Oh my god, I'm going, I'm, y'all, Amber alert is no use here. I'm not going to get found. I'm not, I'm done. I'm done for. Are Can't you kidding? Get in touch with Mom, mother, where's my dad? Mikhail? Are you in there? Mikhail? Mikhail? Where are you? I'm actually a little bit scared. I'm not going to lie. Hey, girl. Huh. So you're really here too? Well, so now I'm a little bit confused because like, does she know Fosalor or Fosal? What the hell? Sampo, my bad. Does she know Sampo? And like, how did, um, yeah, I don't know. My bad. How did Sparkle know Sampo? Or did she like go into my mind and find out that I knew him? I, I just threw like a complete, my bad, my bad. Anyways. I don't know. In Press any the game case, volume. we must still be in a dream. It can't be anywhere else, much less reality. I'm never wrong about the distinctive sense of memoria that's in the air. But this is very different from Sample's the not on my mind. that I'm familiar with. What's my toilet clogs or something? Disgusting. Silent. Uneasy. And these floating words, can you see them too? This kind of place would never exist on Pentacone under the provision of the family. So, could this be a dream bubble? Okay, no, wait. That's not right. Do you remember, before we were unconscious, that friend of yours? She's not my friend anymore. The real dreamscape. He's not my friend. I'm I dying on that hill. Weary of him sooner. Sorry. Regardless. <gasps> my TikTok box the family is must on be my chat box. Something. Something about the truth of the dreamscape. And you probably noticed it when you woke up as well. The ticking of clocks all around us. 
My gut tells me that the secret hidden here is also linked to the mysterious Watchmaker. If it points us towards the Watchmaker's legacy, it will be connected to everyone who has mellowed to Penacone's dream. Let's go. We have to move. Be it to find an exit or the truth. Overwhelming. It's just a waterfall, girl. The exit is on the other side? How are we going to cross over? See if it's a dream, like can't you like fly in your dreams? Like if I if I'm in Pinnacone and I think like I can fly, like can I? Incredible. Okay. Ooh, this wait, is that is really a cool. Sight that can only be witnessed in a dream. These uh, words have been appearing and then vanishing persistently for a while now. Whose thoughts are they? And who is this Mikhail? It's like yeah, like unsettling. Like almost like, like I can feel emotions I don't know if this is the right them. use of uncanny, but it does feel a little bit uncanny Confusion. where like everything's kinda right, but I'm on the walls. Here. But the room is okay, but the clock's Sadness. warped and, and others, you know, like gross things like that. Like I I guess it's uncanny, right? Where it's like right but not in the face I don't know. Of death. So creepy. This is an army for an enemy. Oh, the building blocks are talking to me. Okay. Casual, of course. A playtime corner devoid of life, never again filled with the gaiety of a child's laughter. Jesus Christ. The blocks are scattered all over, never again picked up by a child's hand. Yeah, let me just fix the clock so I can get out of here before I start crying. The wall is vanished. Oh, that's so trippy. Feels like we're reaching the end, right? I'm scared, girl. I don't know. Oh. Just one chest. I'm sure that's not a trap. <laughs> Should we open it? I mean, like, yes, but like, I'm scared. So no? So maybe? Someone's trapped. Oh, great. What's going on? The lights have all turned on. So creepy. But since there are so many doors here, we should be able to leave through one of them. In theory. North. Do I keep going north? West. Damn it. I went the wrong way. This again. No, wait. Could it be? Oh, ew, 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 it's like in my neck. Oh my god. And it sounds like an alarm going on. Uh-oh. Which one was the original door? I am so... And look at the psychopath playing the. Save it. Penny Connie must save itself from what? 
I don't, I don't, I like, I literally, I literally don't even want to walk forward. Cause I'm, I feel. <laughs> you know what? Let's just stunt. Ew, 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 ew. Okay, never mind. I don't, I don't even. Every barefoot needs to be so cold in that. I knew it was coming, but I forgot it was coming. My TVs are so bright. It's hurting my eyes. Careful. Something's up. Oh, you think? Was I think that was meant to happen. <sighs> okay. We did it. <gasps> That's she's too if good. You don't know the right technique. You might never return from the shadow of death, emerging without a scratch. Again? Bruh, at least tell my Clara I can't do this, man. Easy, girl. I'm on your side. Your end approaches. <laughs> Why was that a bit easier? Why was the first half harder? Oh wow. Hurry. So now is that little monster the little boy we've been screaming after this entire time or what's going on? Like what's 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 happening there? That was a lot. You're oh. awake, lazy bug. Looks like you had a nice dream. I might still be dreaming. <laughs> How was it? Did you dream of me? I did actually, but I'm scared and I think I may have went to bed, so I'm afraid. Welcome to reality. More specifically, the reverie. The safest and most familiar place you can be. I'm happy to see that you've kept My your strongest. wits. And that you haven't been affected by the primal dreamscape. How lucky. I wouldn't exactly call my wits, but thanks. Yeah, where's Firefly, girl? <laughs> You're quite concerned about that young lady. That's fair. She was hellbent on assuring your safety, even at the brink of death. Started to toggle I can't believe we're best friends forever for the end of time until the end of our lives. Like, I know best friends. Many wow. questions, so please. Like sisters, yourself. practically. I mean. Before that. You should let your friends know you're safe. Suspicious. Could it really just be a coincidence? Hey guys. Uh, I've got a funny feeling about that lady. Oh, but that some memo bet? keeper obviously Look, came here with an agenda. I brought the kid back as We promised. should remain vigilant. Yes, sir. Uh, you're all right. We couldn't find you in either dream or reality. We were worried sick. I got kidnapped by a It's good to see you're unharmed. Allow I don't even know. Who kidnapped me? Firefly? Or no, I mean Swan, Sparkle. Memo keeper of the Garden of Recollection. Oh, they're friends. Uh, not exactly. Miss Himeko said that they were investigating the incidents happening in I the dreamscape. <laughs> not quite yet. I agree, Darcy. But thanks to you, like reluctantly we might be able to use this opportunity to get to know each other a little bit better. <sighs> So how did you end up there? <sighs> and what the heck happened? Girl, <laughs> what what just happened? That's a great question. So if I know, the one damn. who attacked you was a girl dressed in red, adept at illusory arts, and was able to, and to was transport able to shape shift shape shift into my. Her name is Sparkle, a worst nightmare fool who has infiltrated Penacony. Don't worry, she won't be bothering you for now. She's probably patting herself on the oh, back. Oh, cute. Good job well done. 
It seems <sighs> you know her well. Why can't of I rotate course. my camera to look at Black Swan? This is here. messed up. On Peniconi, anyone could be lying, but the remembrance does not lie. So I feel the need to clarify with everyone. Miss Sparkle's tricks can induce hallucinations, but that strange dreamscape? Nothing to do with her. It originated from Peniconi itself. Peniconi itself? Have you not sensed it yet? This apparent land of dreams. It's a carefully designed dream maintained by the family through unknown means. Excuse me. And the memory zone she fell into. That's the true dreamscape. Chaotic, dangerous, enigmatic. A beast of memory dwells in the ever-shifting labyrinth. <sighs> She's right. Everyone... Do you all still remember your surroundings during your entry into the dreamscape? I mean, yeah, the clocks were a little bit a lot. Huh. So everyone <sighs> saw me. the same thing? I remember... Well, it was a room. And then through a mirror. I came to a long hallway. The... Gallery of Thoughts. That's how the hotel staff referred to it. Have you noticed? These landscapes seem quite distinct from that of Peniconi's in your dream, yet strikingly similar to the dreamscape described by Miss Black Swan. You're right. I didn't give it much thought at first, but in hindsight, the overlap is hard to ignore. After speaking to some of the frequenters, the first stop when you enter the dream is supposed to be the hotel in the dream. But due to certain incidents, the hotel is now under renovation. What could possibly have to happen to an entire building for it to require renovation? Combine that with what she just experienced, and the answer is clear. Um, Hanukkah is taking over. Is sinking right now, turning back to its original form. And Her eyes are so pretty. Sea. Sinking? You mean the dreamscape is collapsing? I guess we're so drowning. <laughs> the encounter at the dreamscape hotel was a sign. I see. That would explain the uneasiness we've sensed from the family. Leaving aside the question of guest safety, were this to become public, Coffee would, or water would Darcy? tarnish the name of the Planet of Festivities. With the Charmony Festival around the corner, it's no wonder they'd want to keep it under wraps. Even the guest safety cannot An Americano be is enough. that, so I guess coffee. Isn't the monster that she encountered indisputable proof? Need I remind you that it is a memory zone meme? How could a meme that heralds death and murder meme? appear in a dream that the family proclaims to be absolutely safe? Everyone could be lying on Penaconi. <sighs> Does that include the family as well? Miss Black Swan, we fully understand our current predicament now. Going back to your original suggestion, for what reason has the Garden of Recollection chosen to work with the Astral Express? Hmm. Let me rephrase, then. This is my personal request, not the Garden of Recollections. And the answer is simple. Miss Himiko, I simply wish to make an exchange related to the Remembrance. Apart from my duty, I also have some personal pursuits and aesthetics. I am a memo keeper and a collector. I, too, yearn to experience those luminous, dazzling, cherished memories. That's simple enough to understand, no? As for you all, nameless of the Astral Express and practitioners of the Trailblaze, I have faith in your potential, as well as in the unique I splendor did not. you I will think. unleash did on I? the stage. This is why I wish mm -hmm. to befriend all of you. <sighs> huh. 
A place where nightmares and sweet dreams intersect. The perfect cradle for the remembrance. I understand. But before replying, we must first discuss this among ourselves. It really is. It's so calm Not and the truly. music in the background. I'm Take like, your time. Good night, girl. <laughs> I'm getting eepy. Where is she? Is she good? Okay. How do you see things, ah. It's best to be skeptical of her. There's a significant amount of intentional misdirection in her words. You think so? But I worry about the worst outcome. If the dreamscape's anomaly really exists, and it isn't a natural occurrence, but instigated by someone behind the scenes. Then it likely has something to do with the watchmaker's invite. Huh. How'd you figure that one out? Well, uh, excluding any extreme scenarios, the mastermind responsible for these shifts in the dreamscape undeniably stands against the family, which narrows it down to two possibilities. Someone is drawing in external influences to distract and disrupt the family's control over Panacone. Either that, or the family has been forced to seek outside. Yeah, I feel like they like got us here to like help them. Because they probably heard about how awesome we were in all these other places. The invite, <laughs> so they were the like, all right, well, the you can be great here. More likely. Which also means that the one who sent out the encrypted nameless message and the mastermind behind the anomaly are on the same side. Maybe even the same person. Well, this doesn't necessarily Don't let train that. Thing. Right? You, are you guys the train that slays planets? Methods, Come on over here. And the Riddlers could pull it off. Uh, hasn't the IPC cracked the message too? Yes, <sighs> March, calm down. It's just a possibility. But if this encrypted <sighs> message Sorry. isn't some harmless prank, I don't know why I got so excited. I think I got all excited and I got all sleepy. Into the fray, <sighs> we cannot remain uninvolved. Well, let me tell you what I discovered. And uh -oh. I'm sorry. It's bad news. Great. According to reliable sources, some people spotted a tall silver armored man on Panacone. I've reached out to the Bloodhound family for news and visited many of those guests who claim to have seen this invader. And this is what I received. Uh oh. I've sent it to you. Open Sampo it to and in a, a trash can? Uh oh. It's it's that hacker girl. Put some respect on her name. It's Silver Wolf. I know you've been investigating the abnormal phenomenon surrounding Panacone. Or rather, we are pleased to see that you've been doing that. Because the deeper you delve, the closer you'll get to uncovering the truth about this so called beautiful dream. The family is obviously hiding something. With the gun is crazy. My butt. Also, I take it you already heard about Sam. You should look forward to the meeting. He's a straight shooter who values a fair fight. I Sam? think you'll get along with him just fine. Don't be overwhelmed by his enthusiasm. Oh, he had me relay a message to you. Ahem. The curtains have just risen over the Ron hunters they even factored Panacone into their plan nowhere safe from them the situation is clear the planet of festivities isn't what it seems on the surface everyone's Shocker. sights including the factions in the family are
are set on the Watchmaker's legacy. Every party has its own motives, and they're attempting to thwart each other. While we still don't know what this legacy entails, it's only a matter of time before the power struggle ensnares innocent bystanders. The Molten Knight, Sam, is reportedly a remnant of Klamoth's Iron Cavalry, a genetically engineered warrior. He possesses superhuman perception and acts decisively. He'll leave no margin for error. This individual is every bit as dangerous as Kafka and Blade. Oh! This message is a threat. So... The hidden map that Silverwolf mentioned is probably right. the sealed Dreamscape Hotel. For the sake of what's to come, a uh, visit seems necessary. I mean, whatever. I don't even know what to pick because they're Which all... Which is why I didn't suggest it initially. But the way <laughs> things are now, the Astral Express has a reason to join the fray. If the family asks, just tell them that the Express is investigating the Stellaron Hunters. I'm sure they'll understand. We'll plan our next move according to how they react. Then we are in agreement. Let's return and inform Miss Black Swan. Yes, ma'am. Hey, mom. You look anxious. Worried about that girl? Yes, mom. You can talk to me if you've something on your mind. I do. In Where's this my friend? world, there's no one who heals the heart better than a memo keeper. Right? Drift peacefully off to sleep, and I'll be right with you. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Penacony, honored guest. I'm lucky that my bat subs talking to me. Little nerve wracking. I imagine you Back you draw bath. Your room. And it says welcome. This way, darling. Okay. What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? I don't feel so good. I know you're more sensitive to memoria. Oh, I just threw more up. More easily affected by the dreamscape than others. This is also why I have to accompany you. I shall use my methods to relieve you. Don't worry, as your companions are safe. Methods. I had both of them what? each give me a trinket before I entered the dream. This will allow me to feel their presence in the memory zone. They're oh, already sweet. awake in their rooms. Will you be comfortable in following me now? Time waits for no one. We must hurry to the lobby. I mean, I guess. Uh, her. How is this possible? <gasps> is that who I think it is? Are there no staff members here at all? Well, she changed outfits. Huh? What are you doing here? Y'all are friends? Or? Yes. She's the memo keeper I mentioned. Oh. We'll have to cut the banter short. Let's first work together and remove these overly friendly children, shall we? Children? I'm indebted to you both for your help. <sighs> Finally, some peace and quiet. What are the two of you doing here? Oh, she didn't change. I just never seen her off from behind. Thing. Funny. Panacone's rife with rumors now about the Watchmaker, a legacy, nightmares, and other mysterious tales. I was curious as to who was spreading them and tested the method as described in the rumors. To think I actually ended up here. You aren't hiding anything, are you? No, ma'am. Oh, wait, not me. I don't think I'd be capable of that in front of a memo keeper. About in front of me. That's not what I meant. Oh. It's just a figure of speech. Sorry. <laughs> Your arrival is timely. This dreamscape is fraught with danger. Ooh, fraught. Since our destination is the same, how about we join forces? Well, if we'd hold hands. I can protect you from harm. But in the memory zone, I'll need assistance from the memo keeper as well. And if we run into the family, it... Wouldn't hurt to have one more person to explain the situation. Hmm. What do you think? I'm in. Thank you. I'm truly grateful. Girl, don't make me regret that. I'll start Glad crying. Glad to be traveling with you again, Miss Black Swan. Hmm. I truly hope so. There's an elevator here, just like in the lobby. 
We should be able to reach our destination with it. But the memory zone up ahead appears to be severely twisted. Be careful, everyone. Ah! <laughs> it's a T-Rex! Bro, what the hell? See, I told you it wasn't going to be that simple. Where is this? I can see the core of this dreamscape. There are members of the family and some figures trying to find their way forward. It appears that your friends aren't faring too well. One, two, three, wait, three. There's a third person seeking the way to the lobby. Wait, it's the girl who was with you. It eludes me, but there is a known semblance in the memory zone, mirroring the essence she radiates. What reason does she have to delve so deep into the dreamscape? She... Is she running? No. Running away? Something's right behind her. This is oh, not good. that's alarming. Everyone, we must hurry. Creepy. Uh, it just seemed like it would chase me in a scream and cry or something. Thank you for the lurk, Aspen. Uh, when the hatch opens again, what's that? So the hole, perhaps no one can provide an answer. Oh, suffocation engulfs you from within. Damn Beautiful. It. I saw scorched earth and a new sapling emerging from it. Oh, wow. It bloomed against the morning sun and whispered to me. Why? Do people choose to sleep? I think it's because they're afraid to awaken from the dream. That's what I'm saying. It's alarming. Watch out. A what? dangerous presence lurks oh. nearby. Everyone, be on your guard. Here, girly. Oh. We found her. Why are they looking sad? Oh, something found us. Dreamscape, right? So we're fine? Right? Right? I'm in the dreamscape, so I'm okay. She's okay. She's just gonna, she's gonna wake up. <gasps> she's just gonna wake up. Okay. This is a dream. Look at me. Calm down. Deep breaths. All right? <laughs> what? Allow me. Relax. You'll be fine. I'm fine. That's not what I'm worried about right now, ma'am. I'm really sorry, but I have to leave for a short while. Death still hovers about, and I must personally ensure Miss Himiko and Miss March 7th safety and warn them. I'll leave her to you, Miss Acheron. I'm 
I'm sorry for what happened. I was too focused on that girl and got sloppy. Well, I mean... I it was my hesitation that caused her to lose her life. I'm sorry. Just keep... It's not your fault. You didn't... I mean, what do you... You know? But if in that moment, I chose to draw my blade... What would have happened, girl? <sighs> Sorry, I... I had no choice. Yes, we will. But not yet. Before the hunt, we should keep our eyes peeled and consider where the true enemies are hiding and how to fight them. Do not let pain dictate your thoughts. Compose yourself, and you will walk the right path. Once, someone said to me, No compassion for the enemy, for that is cruelty upon yourself. But you must see clearly who the true enemy is. And then, with one swing of your blade, you must understand its meaning and the price you pay. This is the only advice I have for you. From someone burdened with a blood debt. Oh. Oh, wow. I'm back. Miss Himiko has something to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Poor Stell. The poor baby. Which is why I must undertake Miss Himiko's request and bring both of you back to reality. Why did we even I'm come in here again? I'm glad to see that you're fine. Let us reach a safe place Damn. before speaking again. Miss Black Swan, do you not intend to open some sort of teleporter? <sighs> mm, I don't <sighs> recommend that. Her mental state is unstable. So we have to avoid any rough traversal methods like just now. Also, while we're departing, we can still do more for Miss Firefly, can't we? Some remnants of her presence linger nearby. Seize the chance to etch them into your remembrance before they're gone. If we can start investigating on the way, that'd be good. Let's go. We have to find another path. Sorry, but could you give me a few more minutes? I, um, I have some unfinished business. Oh. May death be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. No, I'm not. Ooh, that was sad. I'm a big girl and I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna cry. I don't, I actually don't even cry. These are all charred remains. Oh, they're still smoldering. The culprit can't have gotten far. I suppose we can slow down for now then. Something's off. These traces are fresh. Someone just left the scene. 
Would this person have anything to do with what's happened just now? I cannot reach a conclusion with so few clues. The crossing... Just listen to your gut. You were the one who said that... the Remembrance doesn't lie. From the memories of these carcasses, that person was tall and much stronger than an adult male. The method was clean and crisp. All one strike kills. Maybe a mercenary or an assassin. It's played! Okay. He entered through the door from the lobby and went farther into the hotel. If that's the case, he should have seen everything that happened here. <sighs> I take back what I said. We have to hurry to that memory zone where Miss Firefly's presence was imprinted. Considering what this person can do, if his goal is that place as well, there won't be anything left there. You two this way. I'll try to create a stable shortcut for you. The drama is so... I mean... Real. This is truly... Ooh. A magnificent sight. It's this room, then? Yes. More precisely, it's right below. Exactly what it means. Down. We jump. You two may not be able to phase through physical structures like memo keepers, but I've got a great idea that will help you safely reach the floor right below <sighs> this room. It's really easy. See this chandelier? Next, we want to create some reasonably small movements. Just break it? Still remember what I taught you? Feel the flow of the memoria. Walk up the wall. And then, get close to it. Go say hello to it. Oof. This should be good. Are we in the water now? Look, it's common sense and easy, right? Are we jumping down from here? Don't worry. I'll do something about it. Let me stack the dream bubbles to give everyone a nice soft Thanks, landing. queen. Okay, here we go. We landed safely. This is amazing. Don't imitate the memo keeper without the accompaniment of one. Well, wouldn't it be lovely if these nosy oh. newcomers found their way back home? Yay! No one will disturb us now. Here, how about I show you a little magic trick? I'm scared, but yes, ma'am. <laughs> Don't be too surprised. I'm horrified. Is that Firefly? Oh, that's not funny. Yes, it's what this room left behind. The memories of her. The slight trembling of the ground. The fleeting reflections on the screen. The flow of memoria. I gathered and reproduced them in fragments. As for the context, we'll need to sort that out a bit. Hurry along now. Recreating memories on this scale takes quite a toll on me. All right, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Where they? I haven't done my turn right yet. She mentioned your name. Thinking of you even in your absence. Seems like you two were pretty close. I guess so. She seems to be sharing her discovery with someone. And it's related to the watchmaker. She has no idea that she'll become a victim. Calm down, Firefly. Stay calm. She seems very nervous. Yes. What is making her so nervous? Oh, that's so sad. Oh. With all this in mind, Firefly and her companion, there should only be one, have entered this corridor together. Why did you... This isn't what we agreed on! The situation has changed, and it seems that companion 
has deviated from the original plan. Perhaps, judging from the outcome, this is that person's true intention. Based on these fragmented pieces of information, it seems Firefly's companion betrayed her halfway and trapped her alone in this room, disappearing without a trace. But why? She mentioned that this transaction involves the Watchmaker, and that often means stepping on many people's toes. They might have had their eyes on the legacy, or wanted to silence another who knew too much. Or there could be a deeper secret tucked away in this memory zone. And to hook that elusive prize, one needs the right bait. Do you mean... Firefly? So Firefly was the bait and then we're the prize? This I'm a little... This is just the worst case scenario. But think about it. If the mastermind behind all this is nearby, why would he let us look around freely? Unless... There's something else he cares more about and needs. I feel like it's ours. Or should I say, is verifying. She had no other way to leave but from the side corridor. There's a path here. Unpredictable pathways pointing toward a wandering mean. She was completely lost in the memory zone. Unfortunately, this path ultimately leads one to the layer of death. Oh! Seems like someone has been awaiting us. Ready to step into the spotlight now. Stellaron Hunter Sam. Um. Oh, oops. Oh, wow. Careful. A jealousy ranger and a memo keeper. Leave now and nobody gets hurt. Or else all of you will die here. The two implementation. No! Shit. Remember to tell about Man, the shut the hell up. who was behind your ultimate departure. Underway. Some that paradise like may be unreachable from savor it for me. He did in fact. Failed to send you. That paradise, savor it for me. <laughs> Fail to send it. If that's the case. Why was my two person team better than my four person team? <laughs> Maybe this cutscene is. Leave the dance stage oh. to them, my dear. Just removed us from the fight like that. <laughs> I'll just piss me off even more. What a show. No, bl that blade was my entire well, thank team. Thank you for your efforts, Memo Keeper. Quite a brilliant move to pit enemies against each other. When I first saw the ranger and the hunter together, my heart skipped a beat. <laughs> I never thought you'd successfully trigger a conflict between you two. As promised, I've delivered the child to you. Our transaction is complete. She betrayed me? I'm not gonna lie, my feelings are genuinely hurt. My feelings are- I am- My feelings are genuinely hurt right now. Wow. 
messed up. You can't trust anybody these days. Messed up. Bitch. I'm mad at you right now. You give me that rat. How dare you? I love you. How could you do this to me? <laughs> Looks like our nameless friend over here is still confused. Let me explain. In short, you need to thank this lady here, my friend. Not only did she not betray you, on the contrary, she rescued you. What? From that galaxy ranger. I still trust her, so I don't know what you're talking about. Right. <laughs> I do enjoy seeing that shocked expression of yours. My friend, let's be honest. That woman named Acheron isn't as simple as you thought. Did she say she's a galaxy ranger? She's actually an emanator who brings death and finality. I trust her though, so. Uh, I'm in denial maybe, just a little bit. Let me give you some IPC insider information, my friend. Do you know Duke Inferno, Vitora's Ifrit? Nicely done, as expected. I'll cut to the chase then. This Duke Inferno is a fire demon from Fatora. He's an energy life form, and it's rumored that his birth is related to a certain genius. What genius? He and his thugs formed Everflame Mansion and viewed Nanook as their savior. In actuality, they were led by this duke to go around burning and looting, practicing the will of destruction. And even the other annihilation gangs weren't spared. I'm not sure what the family was thinking, or perhaps someone was scheming behind the scenes. But, shockingly, these characters received an invitation. I was so thirsty. The Everflame Mansion declined. They harbor fierce intentions, swearing to turn the planet of festivities it. into a sea of blazing flames. But there's no need to worry. <laughs> they won't be able to attend. Do you know why? No, I don't, but you're going to tell me in a smug-ass voice anyways. Because Ifrit is dead. Oh! As expected, now I have no idea what's going on. They were eliminated on their way. The assailant, demonstrating remarkable expertise, ruthlessly ended Ifrit and swiped the invitation that the Annihilation Gang had in their possession. The Everflame Mansion disbanded, each going their separate ways. Thereafter, a mysterious Galaxy Ranger arrived on Panicone. So he's Checking dead, the but the gang's with still only around. A music box. <laughs> Do you still need me to continue the story, my friend? I don't think it was her. Yeah. Show me the proof. The Galaxy Rangers come and go like shadows, and there's little communication between them. Her story is almost too perfect. She remains oh, so silent, she, no, there's, there's no, no proof, so he's just being... Against her. While the IPC can investigate, it'll take some time. So, my friend, the choice is yours now. You can leave this place immediately, without looking back, and forever forsake the chance to get closer to the truth. Or... You can accept my invitation and learn a truth. A truth potent enough to upend everything in Panicone. I need your help, so I'll wait, but not for long. Once you are ready, follow me. How are we doing As for time, aligning Darcy? with me, see the truth first, then decide. I'm not I aligning with you, Paul. Time. 
Sorry, you're too annoying and snug. If you wanted me to be your I friend, you should have not been annoying. Of a particular eon? Can I really believe Venturing? But he gave me a choice. Maybe I should talk to Black Swan again. My, my. You look like a small injured animal. Are Damn. you still willing to talk to me? Of course, I'm still willing to be your psychotherapist. Why not? I admit I made a transaction with that gentleman to bring you before him. But this is also a safe place. He needs you. It's really? Again? It's one of those? Penacony, recognizing his immense potential and the invaluable memories he can help me gather, I opted to join forces with him. In Panacone, everyone may be lying. And yes, that includes me. Well, it really crashed my I whole game. I can't deny this, nor do I seek It's a good thing you told me, because I would have picked it 100%, do so you I'm glad. remember? I said, I have faith in your potential. And that's not a oh, lie. Wow. Oh, not my hair. The Garden of Recollection wants to witness the future of the Astral Express trailblazing the cosmos. And as for these memories... I will treasure them. I do not have reasons to hurt any of you. Instead, I will continue to assist you. Provided you are willing to accept my assistance. Is the fake ending funny? Because I hate him. My take on this so might kinda... surprise you. In my view, he's a trustworthy individual. Not for any other reason, but because he's an exceptional businessman. In this vast universe, no one values honesty and contracts more than a merchant. But always be on guard, particularly when making agreements with him. Scrutinize the details. Beyond the confines of the contract, your rights are off his radar. He'll go to extreme lengths to ensure his advantage. I still believe that Miss Firefly's situation is deeply connected with the Stellaron Hunter, just as we speculated. But, as you've heard, Aventurine has his finger pointed at the Galaxy Ranger. I can't fathom why he'd draw that conclusion, but given his access to the IPC's intelligence network, we should what seriously you mean, consider I'm, I'm the one asking her the questions! Moreover, I believe Miss Acheron is also hiding something. No. In fact, I should say she's hiding everything from us. It was an unexpected finding from an earlier encounter. With regards to the Annihilation Gang, I can also prove that what Aventurine said was the truth. That's why, during this golden soiree, she is the dance's centerpiece. Why, of course. But now is not the time. I know you're confused. And... Sad. Whoever that girl might have been, a living soul, a memory that was meant to last, she simply vanished. Like the dissolution of bubbles in water, disappearing in an instant. No matter what, I hope you can trust Aventurine. Or rather, trust me. And see the truth. What is this truth they keep talking about? This can lead us deeper into the secrets behind Penacone. It's me. I will protect you. Once I gather more information from him, I'll make sure you're safely returned to your companions for the truth and to prevent more unnecessary sacrifices. It is the right choice. Later, I'll stay by your side as a mimetic entity, just in case. Time to set off. I can't believe I have to follow this bottom. I'm so annoyed. I don't want to. Excellent. I knew you would come. By the way, about that memo keeper. <sighs> Never mind. He said, I, I knew you would come. The issue further. I've said Here before, you can liaise with your companions. Darcy, the Darcy, Darcy. I'll wholeheartedly embrace it. It signifies your potential. I don't do deals where I'm on the losing end. So, 
my friends. Don't let me down. Please, this way, if you will. I'm going first. Oh, I can't even. Oh, right. I can't. I remember mentioning something after that. What was it again? <laughs> a familiar hallway. A familiar room. Do you remember? Last time we met was right here. This is it. Just beyond this door. Take a deep breath. And get ready. Alright, everyone, let's go. Oh, I remember. My friend. After that, we played an enjoyable game. Sick freak. Tell me. Doesn't this feel eerily familiar? I... I remember everything now. This was what I told you at that time. Look, friend. The game has already begun. Allow me to make you an offer. One you can't refuse. Oh! No reason to choose otherwise. And no other choices. Oh my. Oh. Oh wow. Brother, I'm back. Welcome back. How is your preparation for the performance coming? It's fine. Don't worry. It's fine? <laughs> this is not good. You're the pride of the family. And don't let those unnecessary emotions affect your perfect pitch. I... no. Brother, you seem to be in low spirit. What's happened? Was it because of the watchmaker's guest list? Yes. I received the report that... death had taken some of them. Perhaps someone was behind it. I'm sorry. I forgot you just came back. You probably wouldn't know about it. Somehow, a nightmare called death has descended upon Panacone. Striking indiscriminately, bringing spiritual death to all equally. In the utopian dreamscape envisioned by the family, such sorrowful incidents shouldn't arise. It profoundly undermines the equilibrium and serenity of the dreamscape. How detestable. I can't believe this has happened. Was someone killed again? Here, girl, you. Yes. There were two. One was a stowaway. Uh, the other... ...was you. That's enough, fool. Your deeds have saddened me. Pretty sharp, aren't you? Chicken-winged boy. He really ate that up, I'm not even gonna lie. Odes of Harmony talks about honesty. The words of a fool begins with foolishness... ...and end in treacherous arrogance. Please, leave. Their dreamscape doesn't welcome you. Oh, come on! Lighten up! Why so serious with all the quotations and references? He said, she said, she said... Why so serious? I'm sorry, weren't you just cosplaying his dead sister? Or am I confused? Am I am I reading this situation wrong? Someone stop me if I'm wrong, right? Okay. Right, I just want to make sure. I'm just curious. Now things have come to this. Is the family still unwilling to fight? 
I mean, your darling sister's already a goner, right? That's crazy. Really? <laughs> Don't tell me you're not craving a little vengeance. N no, uh, it's not Robin. Yet time. When the fated day arrives, I shall meet out justice with unyielding righteousness. Wow, you can endure that much? <gasps> Truly a heart of ice you've got there. Hey, Robin just died, maybe yeah. Maybe we could actually get along. How about this? I'll stand in for your dear sister at events. <laughs> Surely you don't want the world to hear the Charmony Festival's been called off. The family has a plan. And do not dishonor my dear sister with your deceitful tongue again, fool. All right, all right. Just putting it out there. If you're ever in a pinch, remember, I've got your back. I mean, who could resist a guy rocking spikes on his wings? <laughs> There's no need. The malefactor has been exposed under their radiant gaze and will soon fall by their own machinations. Should the transgressor fail to turn away from this path, their sword will be honed, their bow strung, causing the malevolence the perpetrator spreads to befall them. And when that time comes, the heathen will realize they are but a mere mortal, doomed to descend into the netherworld. And I, I will join their vanguard to announce this good news to you personally, Watchmaker. Wow. It was called Who Done It. I, I will not lie to you. Sorrel's getting a little bit nuts. Um, I should have expected that. I, I know its predecessor, you know, uh, Honka Impact Third is known for its brutality, if I'm being honest. We're just going to call it that. Uh, so, this is, this is rough. I'm not going to lie. However, it's excellent, and I can't wait to see what's going to happen. I'm so sad for Robin and for Firefly. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today, for watching, for joining me on this uh, little journey right here of doing the entirety of Pentaconi in like two days or three days. I appreciate your company. 